So guys, this is how the meat is looking so far. Mmm, look at that. Yummy, 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 yummy. So guys, this is the rice. I've washed it. It's from Moya. A unique taste. Yeah, I would like to apologize. I think at the beginning I forgot to introduce. I think it has been a fruitful discussion. And thank you again, everybody. Stay safe and have a good one. So guys, I'm blending tomatoes because I want to make pilau for African traveler. Um, he's coming back from uh, from Ghana, and I want to prepare a meal that he enjoys. And pilau is one one of them, of course, not the only thing. So this is how it's looking. There's this uh, sort of a knife thing that goes round and round. So we will pour it here. So in this mixture, I threw in, I threw in this, which is the main ingredient. This is pilau masala from Tropical Heat. It's a uh, some sort of um, seasoning that gives the rice, the rice, um, that uh, taste, that pilau taste. And of course, I'm gonna use the rice that I got from uh, Moya. If you've not watched my last video, please check it out. I bought some pishori rice that um, has um, the natural pilau taste. So using that rice, I will um, make some really nice pilau that and will make the, the taste. I hope it will not dilute the original pishori taste, but um, I'll let you know. Or rather, African traveler will let you know about the final um, taste. So guys, I'm going to throw in some boozy. This is a chopped uh, boozy to this mixture. <laughs> yeah, so I'll let the meat cook for a bit and then I will throw in boiled water. I'll measure the water based on the number of cups of rice that I'm gonna, I want to cook. So for example, if I use one cup of rice, I will use two cups of boiled water or warm water and yeah so i'll show you the final output so in here we have uh, onions garlic blended tomatoes lao masala and now the diced boozy or uh, what do you call it goat meat half a kg i think this is more than that and then i'll probably use two cups of, of rice So guys, this is how the meat is looking so far. Mmm, look at that. Yummy, 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 yummy. I think it's almost ready. Do I'll put in water. Oh guys, the lights have come back after struggling with the 
manual blender, but it's okay. And I'd already boiled some water. But it's still fine, it's fine. So we'll put um, four cups of water in this uh, mixture and then we'll throw in our two cups of rice, okay? So guys, I will let the water boil a bit and then I'll throw in the rice. This is the rice, I've washed it. It's um, two cups. As the water is boiling and then I will throw in the rice. I'm gonna give it a quick stir just to ensure everything is well mixed. Then I'm also making a stew. Just want to make sure everything is ready just in case I need time to rush to the airport and pick him. I want to make a nice stew with a goat meat so these bones will give it um, a nice juicy what taste. So for the for the sauce, I will add in some garam masala to give it a nice taste. And also, I like use, I know this is for salads, but I like using it also in my sauces. I've used so many Tropical Heat uh, products and uh, this is not sponsored. I just love, love, love their products. You just pour in until your ancestors say stop. So this is the final look. This is how the pilau is looking. So what I want to do is cover it a bit for it to dry. But it is good to go. So yeah, that's how the pilau is looking. And uh, the stew is also almost ready. So I'll add in some a bit of soup. So that when you combine these two, you don't choke. Yeah, that's the final look and that's how you make pilau. This is the fine rice I was talking about. This is what we call pishori. It has a very unique taste that you will never find anywhere else in the, in the world, but I stand to be corrected. So you can comment on the comment section and let me know. Have you tasted pishori? And if you have, have you found any rice anywhere else in the world? that taste exactly the same or similar let me know guys see you in my next one bye bye if you've not subscribed please do not forget to hit that subscribe button bye